What is the very best tool that you have when the fishing gets really tough? Good morning, guys and girls. September 25, September 25. Will you look at that? I mean, not a ripple on the water, not a ripple on the water. You can see the mountain over there with the, the mountain reflecting down in the water. I'm gonna tell you, I'm gonna tell you, God did a job, God did a job. My goodness, this is just unbelievable. All right, we're gonna look uh, on September 25, we're gonna look at Luke 7, 750. 750, I wonder if that's right. You know, we've got one or two mistakes we found in the book as we read through them, but not very many. They've been pretty doggone good. The mistakes, can I say, was probably done by the publisher. <laughs> uh, they're not here to defend themselves, so we'll blame it on them. 750, 7.50, that's where we are, Luke, 750. Jesus said to the woman, because you believed you're saved from your sins, go in peace. Because you believed you're saved from your sins, go in peace. Here's what I wrote about that. When the bite gets really, really tough, what is the best tool that you have? Whether you go to light line, a real small finesse bait, or your heaviest flipping stick that you can find in the densest cover available, your best tool is concentration. When the bite gets really tough, you have to concentrate, concentrate. Don't let up on your concentration for a second or you're probably gonna mess up. Concentration. You must really believe you'll get a bite on the very next cast because sure enough, you might do that. You know, uh, nowadays we do what we call video game fishing. Those of you who've been following us on Jimmy Houston Outdoors or here on the YouTube channel on Facebook, you've seen us talk about the Garmin Live Scope and how we're seeing fish down in the water. And, and uh, you know, I, I did a deal. I did a deal recently with uh, with Scott Martin, who's a really, really expert. He's been using that live scope since it, come, since it first came out. And, and uh, him and my buddy Josh Jones that I fished with here in Oklahoma, they are, uh, you know, they're just so good. It's amazing. And Scott taught, taught me some things I, I had, I didn't know. He taught me some things I didn't know about how to find the fish when they're down in grass, when they're down in grass or when they're in a real heavy treetop. It's easy to see the fish on that live scope when they're out in open water. And open water fish are really, once you find them, you can catch them a lot of times, whether they're bass or crappie or whatever. But uh, when you can find them down in that stuff, and he told me a couple secrets and we actually share that right here on YouTube. So, uh, but anyway, it's, uh, it, it's, it's pretty neat. It's, it's pretty neat. Uh, so it, it really helps. It really helps if you can see the fish on that live scope to really believe you're going to get a, a fish on the very next cast. If you're looking at that fish and you're seeing your bait go down and you, that, that ups your, that ups your game a lot as far as your belief, believing that Jesus is the son of God, that he died on the cross for your sins and rose again to life and is living in heaven now, is the most important belief you will ever have. That's the gospel in one sentence that I wrote. Believing that Jesus is the Son of God and that he died on the cross for your sins and rose again to life and living in heaven right now is the most important belief you'll ever have. After God buried his son, amazing things happened and it happened for you and happened for me concentrate on him you have a choice no one can make it for you not your mom or your dad your spouse not your preacher this is between you and jesus he paid the price he's holding out that nail scarred hand just take a hold of it and believe that's all it takes to be saved that's the whole deal right there and jesus said to the woman because you believed you are saved from your sins go in peace wow i love this devotion this morning i love it i love it if you're out there and you don't know jesus christ as your personal savior watch it over and over if you have to until you understand because you believed you're saved from your sins here's our tip this week 
Visualize, visualize how your lure is work is working under the water. In other words, get in your mind what your bait is doing down there. They're making a big old wide wobble like that mimic. Mimic is it diving down and hitting something and bouncing off of it? Are you crashing into to something with your spinner bait? Imagine what that bait is doing down there. Uh, you know, I remember fishing a tournament. I actually won the tournament on Dardanelle. Ricky Green led that tournament the first day, and but I found a bunch of fish the second day and. And uh, I found him late in the afternoon and almost caught up to him. And he come over to me and he said, it's over, isn't it? And I said, it's over, Ricky. And uh, and I caught a giant string the next day and won the tournament. And Ricky and I both knew that I was going to win. But but a buddy of mine, Larry, from over there in Fort Smith, that had a, a body shop. He's a mechanic or auto body shop. I think he was just a mechanic and a really, really good one. Had tons of business. He caught the biggest fish in that tournament. And I remember him telling me how he caught it. It's the only bass he caught all day long. It was the biggest fish of the whole tournament. He won a boat or a thousand dollars or something. I don't remember, but uh, but he got to tell me. He said, I, "I said, tell me about that big fish, Larry." And he said, uh, "He said, Jimmy. He said, man, I hadn't had a bite all day. It's about one o'clock in the afternoon." And he said, "I was throwing this little crankbait, a little bluegill crankbait." And I got to thinking about a bass laying around by some of those logs and bushes and stumps. And I come by this stump, and I just got to thinking, I'm just a little old bluegill swimming around, minding my own business. I think I'll swim by that little big old stump right over there. And I was just visualizing that bluegill swimming by that stump. And when I got there, it just tightened up and he said, oh, I just couldn't believe it. So visualize your lure working underwater and that will help you become a much better fisherman. Guys and girls, go out there and have you a great one today. What an incredible day God created. Remember, I love you.